Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with another Jack Harbinger single, single shot video. I've already posted one with Domination. That was my practice for free for all. Now I've played free for all and I want to share some of the insights that I've learned. First, let's look at the configuration. Most importantly, the Jack Harbinger kit. Headshot, 110 damage. 101, 101, and 100 for the rest of it. It is a Gakamo killing machine. The effective damage range is down, but 45.7 on the minimum damage range is great. A good bullet velocity at 720 meters per second. Now look at the recoil. There's a lot of red there, and those numbers are huge. But Grandpa says, don't always be afraid of the red. And they don't even come into play because I found that the single shot Jack Harbinger recenters itself. So you can just forget that recoil. It's not going to harm you. Flinch resistance is down. But why do you need flinch resistance when it will be the enemy who is flinching and twitching, twitching on the ground? Mobility, a lot of red there, more than 10% each number. But the mobility is still great with this weapon as is the handling, except for ADS speed. ADS speed is quite slow at 321 milliseconds, but again, I didn't seem to notice that. Sprint to fire speed says it's down 11%, but look at the speed itself. Don't just look at the red, look at the number, 219 milliseconds. You're gonna be putting the Jack Harbinger in somebody's face and maybe pulling the trigger in a very kind and considerate way. Let's look at the rest of the setup. The sock and the ZX grip. That helps with the recoil, but I'm telling you, it's probably a wasted slot. Let's see, probably would be better to improve the ADS speed with the Phantom Grip. I'm going to change that one out because flinch resistance, I'm not worried about that much. And recoil, I'm not worried about at all. The Torrent Span 9 stock. That one, again, helps with the recoil but also with the hip fire. The hip fire is okay with this weapon. It costs a little ADS speed, but I think I think at 280 milliseconds, it's gonna be great. Crouch movement speed, who likes to sniff their feet anyway? I know a lot of you probably do, sorry. The Mark III reflector gives me glass. I had an extra slot, and then finally, the XRK Edge BW-4 hand stop. It's a long way of saying we improved the mobility in a significant way, the ADS speed a little bit, and the sprint to fire speed is now at 177 milliseconds. Hip fire, we're going to be fine with. All right, let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and how it did for the enemy. All right, let's take the single shot Jack Harbinger to town, at least to the meat packing place. What's going on here? You can see that it eliminates the enemy very quickly. I know I said just under 500 milliseconds time to kill, but there seems to be a lot of flinch involved and you can pull the trigger pr pretty quickly. And once you hit them once, you're going to hit them again, they're going to fall. Now, I did use the slower up oh, and the COR45. I did use the slower grip for these two, the one that I just changed at the beginning of the video. Nice bullet velocity. This one seems like it's going to be almost unbeatable if I can hit my shots. Ooh, I'm going to walk over there. We'll just gack the guy. He can put those scatter mines out again. Whoa. Face to face and beak to beak, this thing absolutely rules. And it's fun. It's just a absolute fun weapon to use. And you really don't need to be all that accurate like with some of the marksman rifles because you can strafe and keep throwing out rounds. So some of the guys that aren't used to using single shot weapons, this they can thrive with. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. somebody is ADS on a sniper or at least on a scope, a weapon with a scope. What is going on here? Th throw that out. Yep, there's somebody back there. Just shoot into the mix there. And it worked. 
built up a pretty good lead, but free for all is an ebb and flow kind of thing. Somebody can get five kills in the space of 10, 15 seconds and be right back in the game. Especially if the king, if Elvis, can't find anybody to gag, which happens quite often. Especially if there's a camper lobby, but this is not one of those. Oh, that was an insta-kill weapon. I think the weapon looks cool with that big old muzzle out there. Like I'm shooting a machine gun and it even looks good when I die, I die, I die, by the farm, by the farm. So what I usually do is bring the enemy back into the game once I build up a good lead. Because if there's no need for heroics, it can get boring. Oh man, I think he intended to blow up the car. His Amazonian woman. Tommy Chong blew up the car. Who would have thought that? I think that's the Amazon warrior woman. You know, climbing, slow climbing, any structure in free-for-all is usually a bad idea. There's night cream face. Usually a bad idea. I don't climb structure generally. Oh, this is not good. Let's pull out the COR, one of the best weapons in COD. Pistol, the COR 45. Knew that we had time to turn around. I thought that guy was going to gag me. I was willing to trade my life for that kill, but I wasn't willing to trade my life for that proximity mine. But I'll put one out myself and I will get a gag. What's this guy doing? He's lost. Three more gags. He threw out something there. Oh, it's a proximity mine. Oh, scatter mines. Scatter mines. Those things are quite annoying, which must mean they're a bit effective. Just two more gags. There's one, the Amazonian warrior woman and her buddy. I don't know how they were standing so close to each other. Grandpa gives a fist pump. It's kind of weird. You see that two people look like they're on the same team, standing right next to each other or right beside each other. See, he wasn't even shooting at her. All right, there's the first game. Second one. <coughs> We're going to the beach. This is one of the, the maps that I usually don't accept when I'm playing Free For All because I seldom do well on it. Aha, uh -huh, I couldn't get gacked by my own proximity mine. Damaged him enough that one shot did it. I generally don't do well on this map. I tend to get ahead at the beginning. And then lose it at the end. <coughs> or get so far behind that it's just impossible. So remember in my how to win it free for all video. And I'll post the link to that one. I got to jump. He must have the new Keds tennis shoes. Trainer sneakers, whatever. I eh, don't count. And I've been running around for quite a while and have not seen anybody. So I don't have a lot of faith this is going to go 30 kills, win or lose. Look at that. At distance, I didn't even try to call uh, control the recoil. <laughs> that guy just disappeared. I think he was – some aliens abducted him. The person just isn't paying attention. If somebody starts shooting you, you need to turn around shoot them back. Killed while sniffing feet. Killed while jumping. Let's throw out the mosquito drone. And that does work. Oh, that was a proximity mine. Mosquito drone is still out there sniffing for folks. Like I said, this game can turn on a dime. Free for all. You're behind by four or five, and then all of a sudden you get a quick bloodthirsty and, and you're winning the game. You get to be Elvis. That guy was just too fast. And that guy was just too powerful. Let's see if we can get that guy. Yeah, I wasn't leading him. And he came back after me, and I was already in his gut. That was Elvis, the king. 
And we're tied. A little jump shot there. Pulling out all the tricks. There's the King of Hawaii. And uh, James Bond just gacked me. I still owe Chami Chong a few more gacks. Okay, long shot. 52 meters, almost 53. I did not control the recoil. So all that red, 60 some degrees per second. Baloney. Just need two more GAX. Hey, listen, I've got another bonus game coming up, a free for all after this. Somebody puts out a Confusa. There we go. Oh, didn't quite make the turn there. And there's Tommy Chong. I still owe him. So that's a Snickers victory. A fist pump. Pull the air horn. I think this weapon is a keeper. It is so much fun. You should probably try it. I look like I knew what I was doing there, but I just fell on the water. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Try the weapon out and let me know in comments how you do. Cheers and peace to you. We're going to have a little excitement with that Free for all. You have threats on all sides. Engage and eliminate. We're falling behind. 
Secure the field. Mission accomplished. 